we are gonna test your hamstring mobility. So this is a self-assessment test purely just to see where those hamstrings are. Now, hamstrings are so important to be able to improve that length and that range of motion within the hamstrings. A lot of people think, well, I just have chronically tight hamstrings. It's not true. When you were a baby, it was a milestone to be able to get those toes in the mouth before you could even start to crawl and walk. So how do we get you back to that baby stage? Maybe we're not putting our toes in our mouth. However, we have the mobility so that we don't have as much restriction to the pelvis. Because remember, the hamstring attaches all the way up into our sit bone. And our sit bone is where our pelvis is. And so if we're getting pulled into that pelvic region, imagine what's happening then to my low back. I might be putting some extra tension and pressures into that low back, right? So this is why we want to improve that extensibility through that hamstring and assess even where it is. Also note that the hamstring attaches back behind the knee. So any pressures we might be getting in the knee, whether it's in the front or the back, is important to address the hamstring. And lastly, I want to talk about a fun skill a lot of people like to try to achieve, which is the pistol squat. Well, if I want, or or abs, maybe you want to hold your legs in an L position or do some toe to bar. You know, all of these positions don't just require strength in the front of the body and the abs, but it also is necessary that we have that extensibility through those hamstrings. And that's where a lot of people forget, oh, well, I'm trying to do this pistol squat, but I can't even hold my leg up. It's not just a strength issue. It's a mobility issue. So let's test those hamstrings out and see what is needed within your body. Now, I'm going to lay flat on the ground here. If you want, if you don't feel comfortable getting down on the ground, you can also measure this in bed. Note that the bed does have a little bit more give than a solid ground, but it's just a good test to see where your body is. A good, another good thing, if you can have like a mirror on the side of you, or if you want to set up a camera so that you can like go back and kind of look and pause where this is happening and where your mobility is in your body, this is a great thing to also do and just be able to look back and, and kind of see where you're at along the way. Now, I want to just be completely relaxed here. Make sure you're just relaxing into that back and then those legs and my arms are going to come out to the side. Now I'm going to just lift one leg at a time. Okay. So I'm going to lift one leg and without flexing the foot, I'm actually going to relax the foot. Keep the leg as straight as possible. So squeeze this, this quad, try to pull that knee down toward that hip and then see how high can I go without my other leg coming out. So I want this leg to stay straight down. So push that bottom knee into the ground, push this knee into the hip and then see how far back. The goal here is to get to 90 degrees, okay? So that's straight up in the air. Again, test the other side. So push this knee down to the ground, push this knee like it's trying to go into this hip bone, and I'm just going to lift and see how high I can get it, okay? So this is more of an active hamstring stretch, but it's a good indicator of just where you are in your body. If you notice that you get below 90 degrees, then we know we get to work on this hamstring. Now, what a lot of people do is they flex the foot. So now we're going to test it with a flex foot, and I'm going to tell you about the difference in a little bit. So again, push this knee down, squeeze this other knee, pulling this knee down into your hip bone, and with the foot flex back toward your face as much as possible, you're going to see how high you can get. I get about there, and I actually feel some pressures going into my calf. And then I'm going to try the other side, push this knee down, squeeze that knee back with the foot flexed as much as possible. And then I start to feel some pressures down below my knee and kind of into my calf area here. Now, what is the difference between a pointed foot or the foot relaxed up to the ceiling and the flex foot? This is the difference between a hamstring, pure muscle test and a nerve test. Now, I go over this a lot more in the curated programs, the links that we have below so that you really understanding when do I need to improve this, this hamstring mobility and when do I need to kind of address some of the nerve issues that could be happening. So this nerve, the sciatic nerve, a lot of people know about, right? It connects from my low back and it goes all the way down my bottom, the back of my leg, down my calf and all the way down to my foot. So if you even felt stuff into your foot, normal, but if you're feeling it beyond your hamstring, the back of your leg, that means we're no longer just doing a muscle 
test or a muscle stretch. We're now stretching the nerve. And it's so important to understand the difference when you need to be getting a little bit more into the nerve and when you should be addressing more of the muscle. If your muscle is really the hamstring, if you keep saying, I have hamstring tightness, then we need to focus on the hamstring. If you think you have some low back pain, if you felt it all the way down to your foot, if you're feeling some tension more so and a lot of limitation when that foot was flexed back and you could not quite get to that 90 degree position, then we might have some nerve mobility, hypo, so not quite as much mobility in those nerves happening. So this is a good indicator to be able to test side to side and difference between both sides and between the foot pointed and the foot flexed. And it's so important to understand the difference when you're moving through movement. And this is what I do in my programs. We go through both, but we go through both with intention. It is not okay to just be stretching the hamstring and pulling on the toe. And I go through this a lot more in the programs below. So be sure to please check out the specific programs. We have some for the hips, we have some for the low back, and we have some for general mobility because it's so important to understand what your individual body needs and what specifically we're trying to address when we're talking about the hamstring. Don't forget, if you love what you're learning, I have so much more in stock for you. So hit that subscribe button, check out the other videos I've done in the past, and leave any comments of any suggestions that you have for videos in the future. And I can't wait to help you feel incredible and amazing within your body.